Welcome to, to, to the University of Oakmont. Uh, how can I help you? You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. We have hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. Something I can help you with, sir? Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um, no. You must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I I'd reward you, of course. Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted, then. Samuel hopes. Honorary member of Altera Pa's book club? Charles Reed. Private Eye. Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Windle to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Why are they so valuable? They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay, I'm on it. Bye. <laughs> Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. 
We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve our problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. person would even touch this, not to mention dissect it. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded.
Your lab is certified creature-free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures, what's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Maybe not, but so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> Well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. Where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... <sighs> All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it. But Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable. And easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later.
This should be good enough to make a decent copy. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Can you fill me in on Ryson again? Of course. What do you need to know? How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with Ryson? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. There's some kind of cure for Ryson? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. I'll see you later. Find something you like.
Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. What do you want? Uh, just wanted to say hi. I'm new in town. Oh, how nice for you. If you need to look anything up in our archives, get in line like everybody else. Get in line? I'm the only one here. Well, I guess that means I'm first then. So, I can just go look up what I need. Don't sass me, young man. Next time there could be a line here, and you'll get no special treatment. Bye. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? Come. Find something you like.
Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. I loved you. I always loved you. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine! Mine! <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. Mine! <laughs> you will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! 
I'm leaving you, George! George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. Who are you? What, what are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I, explain yourself. Easy there. Anna from the fish market asked me to find you. You know her, right? I should have guessed. I know her much better than you think. What does she want from me now? She already took everything I have. It's not about what she wants. It's about what you did. Poisoning the fish. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can prove you did it. Hold on! Before you jump to conclusions, I want you to know that I had a good reason to do what I did. It all comes back to Anna. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day, she came to me that snake and told me that the child was not mine she said it was blessed by the sea that it was demanded by the EOD doom take them I couldn't stand it I just couldn't there must be another way to deal with the EOD like if their crimes are that obvious why don't you just go to the police <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. 
They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Keep talking. Now what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Your agent inside the EOD, is he fairly high up the ranks? Ah, I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD too. Yeah, I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My, my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right, look, I'm gonna need to think about this. Uh, of course, but don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, have you made up your mind? I've thought about your proposition. Your methods stink, and your plan stinks. Still, the EOD is a threat, and I'm not gonna help them anymore. I'm in. Oh, you're doing a great favor for this city, Mr. Reed. Never doubt that. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Remind me what it is I have to do. You need to poison the fresh haul of fish at the EOD storage. It's heavily guarded, but you'll figure out something, I've no doubt. I'll be back later. I need to see my agent. Find me after you're done. Here's the address and some ricin. Be very careful with it. Yeah, will do. I'm not quite ready to die yet.
Beware, he's Kirk. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. I've found your poisoner. Oh, see, bless you, Charlie. Oh, thank goodness. Who is it? Well, that's the peculiar part. It's your ex-husband, George Cavendish. Oh. So that son of a rotten shark finally decided to show up. We'll find him. Then I'll have a word with him in person. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. You're taking this remarkably well for a woman who just found out her ex-husband is a poisoner. He's nobody to me. The EOD is my family now, and we serve a higher purpose than he could ever grasp. My life finally has meaning. And now, we're going to relieve him of the burden of his miserable existence. You've done us all a great service, Charlie. All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your Grand Poobah or whoever's in charge, now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm a woman of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. You'll find an inn smather there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. <sighs> About time. Glad to see you again. You want a fishy?
Hey, knock it off! You won't find a better house at that price. Hey, Mr. Ree. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for a professor, though. Ain't that right? The scientists are order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. <sighs> Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You in England was coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See, I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week, talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. What is this order you mentioned? Uh, yeah. You don't know, do you? EOD. It really stands for the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Dagon? An old, old being from the depths of the sea. In books, they show him as a monstrous amphibian. The Innsmouthers worship him as a god. And of course, they make sacrifices to him. In blood. Alright, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you.
floor won't budge. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD, the den of those filthy Innsmouthers. I'll tear it to the ground. Are you using this as an opportunity to make an example of the Innsmouthers? Because most of the EOD members I've met were locals, and for what it's worth, the only Innsmouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You want to examine your prejudice. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son for Kay's sake! I know. But what did you do to prevent it? 
You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. I... shall think about what you've said. <sighs> Back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Dow. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you.
choice. Choose wisely. Every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that too once. have passed since this food was cooked. The slime still looks fresh. I suspect Dr. Grant would be interested in it. to go to work. Why can't you understand that? Time to figure this out. I feel I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? Oh. 
<laughs> Miss! John! You... Oh, oh, what is happening to me? The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too.
Find something you like. Cheaper than the rest. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and... transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethean revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethean revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. It wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian Harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He tried to stay awake using stimulants, but... Those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. Hmm, a psychic phenomenon, or manifestation. How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. Got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? Uh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Bye.